I he if he recognises me, I'm going to be absolutely blown away. Can you tell me what my name is? He's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. Hello and uh, welcome to another adventure. And as you can see over my shoulder, we're at the seaside. I'm on my holidays. Now we've come away for a few days, got a few days off work. Uh, we've come away, we're in a little place called Whitley Bay. Uh, it's about a mile and a half down the road. And uh, we're going to spend the next three days up here. We're on the Northumberland coastline and uh, totally looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's about three, half three in the afternoon. The clocks went back. They went back last night, so we've uh, lost an hour of sunlight and gained an hour in bed. Um, it's just turned, it's just October at the moment. Now, the sky is amazing. Um, got some lovely clouds, loads of atmosphere. There's some rain and, you know, storms out at sea. Uh, there was a little bit of snow down this way the last night or so. It's got cold very quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm in a classic location. Look at that, St Mary's Lighthouse. Uh, the only drawback is they put some wind farms, windmills over in the distance and sport the, sport, sport the skyline. So uh, we might have to clone them out. I'll put a couple of images up and show you a couple of images that we took last time I was here. Um, quite like the photos to be honest, so I'll bob them up and let you have a quick look at them. And uh, I also flew the drone last time I was here, so I'll let you have a little bit of footage of that in a sec. Um, we're down for the evening, the tide's coming in and the causeway's about to get covered up. So I'm going to go for the basic classic image, uh, set up for the lighthouse, use the causeway, do a long exposure and get the water coming over the causeway. It's been done a million times, but I've not done it. So uh, we'll set that up, let the sun go down a bit lower in the sky and uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. started off as you see with a, a classic I saw the reflection in the water of the lighthouse and I just wanted to set the camera up uh, put the polarizer on put a six stop soft ND grad and I also put the 10 stop in to smooth the water out there was a couple of people on the jetty but I'll clone them out I'm gonna come down a bit closer now I want to try and get the water coming over the jetty if I can so I might have a look down this side see if I can get the lighthouse with the big thundery clouds in because the clouds look fantastic uh, we're kitted up got the wellies on so we're all right I just need to get a reflection someone's gone over the water and they're gonna get in trouble because the Coast Guard's just told them to get off and moved them away Denise is up there above me I don't know if you can see her she's up there there's Denise above us um, I'm now just gonna look down here for something simple so I'm gonna put you down before I drop my filters because I always say never walk around with your filters on your camera um, so I'm going to put my camera down, I'm going to put this down for a sec, uh, set myself a composition up, use these rocks in the foreground, you see these rocks down here, I've got a few rocks scattered around, I'm trying to get the camera set up with the rocks in it, get the reflection of the lighthouse, get these big moody clouds behind and see if I can get rid of some of these lighthouses in the background, um, well windmill should I say, we'll be back in a sec when I've got the camera set up and I'll uh, try and talk you through what I'm doing.
right, as you can see, uh, I've got the camera set up down on the causeway now. Um, lighthouse is up that way, looking pretty amazing with these lovely clouds behind it. I've set up with a 10 stop, I've kicked my tripod, shall I do another one? <laughs> I should just kick my tripod then. Um, yeah, I've set up with the causeway, the tide's coming over the causeway now, it's coming over quite quick, it's really filling it up ever so fast. Uh, the water's right up underneath my tripod now and around my feet, which it wasn't just a moment ago. As you can see by my face, it's a lovely, nice, nice glowy, soft orangey light coming down. The sun's not going to be here for much longer, but I'm just going to do a few long exposures. Got the six stop soft ND grad in. Uh, that's looking quite nice to be honest. Um, I'm going to try and do a slower exposure. 15 seconds rather than 20 seconds. That was 20 seconds, f7.1. I've gone down to 5.6 now. Uh, stunning little place. Can't see the wind turbines from here, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be here at the perfect conditions, perfect time, perfect clouds. I'm going to do a really wide one in a minute, try and take all this sky in. Absolutely fantastic evening. Well worth it. Pleased, if I don't get any more images between now and the time we go home, I don't mind. I know this is classic, it's been done a load of times, but I've got the perfect conditions that I wanted. Calm water, so it's just lapping across the top. And uh, the sun on the lighthouse, really, really nice. Before I get too deep in the water, I'm going to go back up that way a little bit. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. make a small retreat just because I want to get the water splashing around and I want to see a bit of the causeway that last image just took the causeway a little bit so I'm going to come a bit further back up try and get the reflection in if I can uh, try and get something at a slightly different angle a bit closer to the edge we come over to the left hand side of the causeway now I've got a leading line coming in so I'm gonna set this one up the same I've got 10 stop in uh, the clouds are brilliant 10 stop in get the move of water movement and uh, yeah back in a second just get this done Absolutely amazing, the clouds, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Real deep dark clouds, got the blue in the sky, the polarizers popping them all out. The soft light on the lighthouse just looks absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna sit here now, let the tide come up a little bit further and take a few more images, but just look at that. How beautiful is that? Brilliant, brilliant first day, brilliant first evening, and uh, let's hope sunrise is the same. I'm going to a little place tomorrow morning um, called don't know. <laughs> Put a name up there, forgotten what it's called. Begins with a C. And it's got some L's in it and a U, I think. Uh, it's only over there, I can see it from here. There's a little arch going into the sea. So for sunrise, I'm going to go down there. I've looked on the old um, photo ephemeris and it says the sunlight is coming up directly underneath where the arch is. So if I can get a bit of sunlight through the arch, wow, would well, that be amazing. Uh, so I'm going to shut up at a moment and uh, just going to let this tide come up and take a few images and just take it all in. Absolutely take it all in. It is fantastic. Right, I'm just going to make a retreat back up this way. Uh, there's a photographer up here and I don't want to sit in his photograph all the time. It's only fair. We ought to share and share alike. There's plenty of beach. So uh, just shifting out of his way, otherwise he'd get angry with me. <laughs> no, I'm just shifting for you, mate. It's only fair, isn't it? We all share the beach. He's here, look, he knows it's a good time. He's checking out the lighthouse as well. Oh, I recognise you. <laughs> he re if he recognises me, I'm going to be absolutely blown away. Can you tell me what my name is? Your He's thinking friend. about it. He's thinking I'll about it. Your friend's name is Go on. John Haswell. He, he knows who I am. He just can't remember my name. Paul Compton. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a first, right? Now I oh. said one day, one day I'm going to go somewhere and someone's just going to recognise me. Absolutely buzzing. I'm recognised. That's fame for you. That's it. I can finish now and retire. That's all good for me. Right, I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to have a chat with this guy and get myself a few more, if, 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 a few more images of this place. Yeah. Why the conditions are so good. Catch you in a bit move back up the causeway a little bit now the water seems to have come to a level I think it's almost going back out again um, 
I've got the tripod set up really, really high, if you can see. Uh, I bought myself a new tripod. I've got a T20 now, and uh, it's a little bit higher. So when I'm down on the beach, I can get it quite up high. The idea of going up high is I'm bringing the horizon line down. The nice soft light on the lighthouse is awesome. Um, there's some big clouds in the background, and there's even a rainbow in it. So we're getting a rainbow, and we're getting... I need to get a wide angle on, I think, because that rainbow is going right up in the top now. Um, we're getting a rainbow in the background. I'm going to have to clone out those uh, wind turbines, but the conditions here tonight are absolutely spot on. Really, really good. I've got to flip the camera over onto a horizontal, onto a portrait mode. Back in a sec, back in a sec. Oh, the conditions now are just absolutely mind-blowing. Rainbow's coming right over the top. If I can get a wide angle on here, I might be able to get the whole rainbow in. But uh, yeah, no, that's pretty good. Absolutely love that image. Absolutely fantastic. That's so a keeper. It's now starting to rain, so I'm going to snap another quick image and I might have to put you away. But I'm going to get an image before the rain comes in. Right, well that's, that's it, the light's gone. Absolutely vanished. You see behind me, clouds, and uh, the lighthouse is now in shade. Um, I've taken a few exposures, let's just have a look at this one. Not looking too bad, I've got rain coming down behind it, which I really like, this uh, rain clouds there. So uh, we got wet before, really, 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 really wet. Um, but it's all good fun. I've been recognized, so I'm buzzing. I don't care how wet I get now. I tried this again, the battery just went dead on me and you can see I've got a water spot on the camera, we just had a big splash of water and it's just splashed up in our faces. The sun's gone down now, uh, it's well and truly gone, the lighthouse is in shade, um, but what's nice is you get these little bit of pink still on the top of the clouds and you can see the rain coming down out the sky at the top, which is pretty awesome, so if you can get a good image of that. I've tried a couple of long exposures and Denise has got one set up on the go here, cooking away as it is, and uh, let's have a little nose, what's she got? Oh yeah, she'd be happy with that. Do you like that? Let's have a look. Look down here like that. Yeah, she don't do bad, does she? <laughs> I'll pop it up for you and show you anyway. Um, but yeah, a couple of other photographers down here. It's been pretty good. Everyone saw the conditions. And this guy up here, he was just telling me that, la was it last night? Last night. Last night he said the waves were smashing against this and there was crashing waves and everything everywhere. What a shame we weren't here then, because that's one of the pictures I do want to get. Massive big crashing waves, and lighthouses and sea walls and sea defences and stuff like that. So yeah. All in all, not a bad evening. Uh, I might cut it short and make this a short little video for you. It's unlike me, because mine are normally about half an hour long. Um, but if I do, I'll say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell a friend and uh, yeah, see us in the next one, which is going to be morning time and we'll work for the sunrise. Ciao for now.